we're gonna start with uh, Andrew Tate. Let's do it. I was at the bar last night, and I was hit with some incredible news, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Tate has been charged with human trafficking. Prosecutors uh, in Romania have filed formal charges against the controversial influencer Andrew Tate, his brother Tristan, and two Romanian associates. The charges. Okay, this one tastes like. Charges include human trafficking and forming an organized crime group, as well as illegally accessing a computer system and violence against one of the alleged victims. The indictment deposited with the Bucharest court says that at the beginning of 2021, the four defendants formed an organized criminal group to commit human trafficking in Romania, but also in other countries such as the United States and Britain. Our correspondent in Bucharest, Lucy Williamson, gave us the latest on today's charges and the background to the case. This investigation has taken six months to complete. They have been in detention or under house arrest for all that time. And Romania's organised crime unit have come out with a statement this morning which outlines some of the information that led to I this indictment. As you right outlined there, we know the, the main charges that are being filed. We know there are seven. That's crazy. That's what Andrew Tate said. I did everything right and they indicted me. Crazy. Andrew Tate and... Uh, the the Trump situation is like very similar. Obviously, Andrew Tate's crimes are significantly worse than Trump's, or at least the ones Trump has been charged with so far. But you know, uh, video way louder than voices. We know, we know, we know. Alleged Here. victims who are apparently allegedly <coughs> recruited by false promises of love and oh, marriage fuck. by the two Tate brothers, oh, and it does shit. seem to be quite a wide ranging set of charges. The the charge of human trafficking is an umbrella charge and. Un within that, there are several counts against each of the four defendants. Uh, we're also getting some information from the organized crime unit about the assets that have been seized, properties, cars, luxury watches, but also more than 300 million US dollars in cryptocurrency. And we're told that there's- a Whoa, there is they are actually, they are actually bossed up. That's crazy. God, crypto is so wild. I mean, they got, Minus 300 million now, but still, like that. I, I am genuinely shocked about that. That's like 300 million dollars is a lot of f cookies, man. Luxury watches, but also more than 300 million US dollars in cryptocurrency. And we're told that there's a, there are separate charges that are still under investigation that may be the subject of a separate indictment in the future, and they include money laundering influencing statements and trafficking of minors. Lucy, for those who don't know Andrew Wait, Tate- trafficking of minors? That's not true. Dicot did an investigation. He's only worth 10 million total. Just explain who he is. You did a lengthy interview with him just a couple of weeks ago, didn't you? He's become extremely well known, particularly amongst uh, young people, for his controversial statements online. He presents himself as someone who teaches young men how to be men. He gives them inspirational statements, but he also puts out uh, advice on relationships that's really concerned a lot of people across. Wait, it wasn't 300K? No. Or, or 300... How much Bitcoin does, uh, oh, according to DICOT, they seized uh, uh, assets including over 21 Bitcoin, which is $560,000 as of June 20th. So that's not 300 million. Some auto translate software, including Google Translate, erroneously suggested a much larger amount of Bitcoin worth 384 million had been seized due to an error interpreting the original Romanian. Oh my God. Oh my God, he was a broke boy too? Dude, I, oh, I, I believe the term is a brokey. Oh, brokey? Oh shit, you're drinking that government water, Andrew. You're not drinking, you're not drinking sparkling water. You're drinking government water. You don't have enough money, Andrew, to buy sparkling water every day. Oh my God, a brokey too? What is going on? He's a Broke boy too. Oh no. So, Devastating. June 20th. That's today, right? This happened. This literally happened last night while we were at the club. No, no, I know, I know. I was trying to see if that number is like recent. His Which house is only worth 600 k in Romania. All his cars are rented and he only has 300 k in crypto. I'm tweeting about this. I'm sorry. What, what, what about the Bugatti? I, I mean, he can't anymore, but. Oh no. 
top G, more like broke G. So I was right. I was right. I told you, mother. I told you, mother. That like half the dudes whose streams he was going on have more money than he does. It was all a flex, dude. More like broke G. Broke G. A brokey. A broke boy. Oh. Oh, that's fire, dude. I'm sorry. This is like the, the justice being served part is great, but it's like doubly great when you see this kind of situation unfold. And all of these dumb motherfuckers who love him, dude, all of these dumbasses who love him have been absolutely duped. Duped. He was a broke boy all along. He was a broke boy all along. Uh, the announcement moved forward in case which versus of you last year. Tate's official social media. Indictment was uh, Tate, Tristan Tate, two brothers. Reports of the group described bleak world and women. We already covered all that. I'm gonna. So how over. how down is Bitcoin right now? Like, did he have a bunch of money and then like because of the Bitcoin? No, he was like he was lying unsurprisingly about how much Bitcoin and how much money he had. Um, that's awesome. I'm 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 here for the slander, dude. I'm here for the I'm here for the lies being cleared. You know what I mean? Wait, where does it say his cars were rental? It says his, no, he has luxury watches. Tate's wealth has been part of the investigation. He was denied bail. The judge in the case explains his decision. The possibility of uh, Tate's boasting about his money or just some of the public statements he made that could work against him in court over the years. He was willingly describing all of that. Uh, yeah, they own the cars. That's what makes up most of the ten mil. What? What? He, so his total. So his total net worth is like around 10 mil. I said, lied about being bald by choice, lied about having millions of Bitcoin, broke G. You know he has a shit ton of money, just not on the books though. Yeah, you know, it famously when a, a incredibly comprehensive investigation is conducted, they have a really hard time finding all of your assets. Like these guys weren't exactly a brilliant operation. If anything, Part of the reason why they are in such uh, trouble at the moment is precisely because they were not running a brilliant operation. They were very stupid. They very openly talked about doing uh, lover boy method sex trafficking. They very openly talked about the abuse that they put women through. They very openly talked about tax evasion and how to control and manipulate women. You can say you're coping all you want, but turns out, turns out, you know who the real top G is? People like myself. People like XQC. Turns out his entire net worth is around 10 million. Okay? That's what it turns out. He says it right here. Like you just get beyond that point with money. So there's kind of like this middle ground when you're broke, you own nothing, and then you start doing well and you own a bunch of stuff, and then you get to the top and you're just trying to get rid of it all and don't want to own anything anymore. Well, E-Man said when we interviewed him, he said he didn't want to be a billionaire. He said as soon as you get to that sort of level, they'll start controlling you and manipulating you. So do you have a similar thought pattern on that? It's very hard to not become a billionaire in the world today, I think, if you're truly influential. I'm already a billionaire if I had to have my net worth measured. Um, oh, that would have been one of my questions. You can ask me. <laughs> I'm a billionaire. Yeah, so, uh, so a net worth. Yeah, net worth. What are you bringing into that? Are you bringing in your whole brain? Yeah, totally. 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 Dude, it's great. He was just, he's been a con man since day one. And I love con men and uh, makes sense. Yeah, 10 million is definitely well off, especially if investing in the stock market for the middle class. You're right. Retiring in America is getting impossible. Homies, ten million dollars is an unimaginable amount of money. That is a lot of money. However, ten million dollars is not the way Andrew Tate presented himself. Okay, he kept saying he's a billionaire, dude. He kept saying he had hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. He's he. Okay, understand that we're not comparing Andrew Tate to like a stevedore. We're not comparing Andrew Tate to a. Uh, let's say, teacher in Oklahoma. We're comparing Andrew Tate to Aiden Ross. We're comparing Andrew Tate to XQC. Okay? So when you compare Andrew Tate to XQC and you find out that his entire net worth is basically one-tenth of the contract that XQC is getting from Kick, that's when you come to the realization that the top G is not on top. He's lying about being on top. Okay. I'm going auto trader. I don't know how much Bugatti's called. What is it? 1.9 million. Okay. Hold a Bugatti. On, hold on, hold on. It depends on the year and the condition or whatever. They're not all five million dollars. 
Okay, the most expensive Bugatti is like 5.4, a Devo, right? Bugatti Devo is 5.4 million. I don't know how the Bugatti he has. I don't know which Bugatti he has, and I don't know how much it costs. But at the end of the day, it's like, let's say it's 2.9 million. Okay, it's the same price as my fucking house. Do you understand? Like, you can be a relatively wealthy person while you are operating well beyond your fucking means. You know what I mean? So what he probably did is he probably had like, he probably had that much money and then he went and he fucking bought it. He bought the Bugatti to present himself as an incredibly wealthy person. Because when you buy a $3 million, when you buy a $3 million car, people look at you and go, oh, you must have $100 million. And that's the entire point of being a con man. How many times have we seen this? People do this all the time. That's why a lot of people will go and rent cars like that to present themselves as much wealthier than they actually are. Because you would never expect a motherfucker who only has like $4 million, $5 million to go and buy a Bugatti. Because that would be fucking idiotic. That'd be insane. So I guess the equivalent of this would be like in, in the real world, in your group of friends, it's like the fucking kid who buys like expensive shoes or something, you know what I mean? To make it seem like they're more wealthy than they actually are. Or they go and buy a three series, right? And it's like they barely can afford it, but they wanna fucking present themselves as like a flexor, like a big spender. That's it. It's, I think it's funny when you actually consider Aiden Ross probably has more money than him. Yes, exactly. Aiden Ross is, uh, oh God, I'm not, don't worry about it. This is, I love this. He, Murat is my fucking rock. Do you understand? Murat is my motherfucking rock, dude. This, these types of conversations are precisely what keep me grounded when I'm like, when I'm feeling the heat on like Twitter or some shit. When I hear a normal human being say, what the fuck is that? I'm like, oh, thank God. Thank God, dude. The world is not, uh, the world is not fucking insane. Is he a YouTuber? He's like a, he used to be a Twitch streamer and then he became a, uh, he became a fucking uh, kick streamer. He hates me. We used to be friendly with one another and then he got groomed by uh, Andrew Tate. Over 5 million in cars and 7 million house. No, his house is not worth 7 million. His house, bro. You think Andrew Tate's in, in house in Romania is worth seven million? Dog, you can buy a chateau in fucking France, not Romania, for like two million. Okay. You can buy, you can buy a chateau in California for seven million. Yes, dude. He motherfucker said seven million in Romania. There is not enough. That would never happen. Okay. There is just. There isn't a real estate. There isn't enough real estate in fucking. Can somebody Google the most expensive property, like real estate property, uh, in Romania? <laughs> Do you want anything from Starbucks? No. Are you sure they have like uh, cinnamon right, roll, waffle, All right, give me. Wolfru. Limited time offering ones are really good too. They have Don't Vienna sausage anything. hot dogs. Uh, can you please move the camera? I can't. Murat has to move himself, but he's not going to do it. So, I, I mean, I can try. That's fine. It's fine. Don't mess with the camera. It's fine. You're showing the living room. It's fine. You can show the living room. It's all good. Yeah, Tate's complex was uh, valued at $600,000. Uh, there you go. There's no way. Yeah, smart villa for sale, six rooms, Piperia, Mate Villa. Yeah, this is this is Tate's villa, right? Isn't this? It's funny. I don't think this is his villa, actually. Google says the most expensive house in Romania is four point eight million dollars. <laughs> Luxury homes in Romania are really expensive. Lol. Okay, can you translate to USD, please? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, those are in yen. Yeah, we're, we're in Japan. It's, it's, it's yeah, showing, it's it showing in us in yen, brother. This is not that expensive. Well, no, for them, it, it, it's showing in whatever currency. But I looked at how much a mansion costs in Romania. Google said, how much do you have in your pocket? 
It's because you're in Japan, region locked. Yeah, I can't see. I have to see it in yen. Fucking hell. That's 4.8 million. There you go. Um, so let's see what Forbes. So Forbes are asking for financial details to add me to the billionaires list. I'm the most viewed man on the planet, the most respected masculine role model alive. I own the entire idea of masculinity. Of course, I'm worth a measly B. You do not need paperwork, feds. The truth about Andrew Tate, his home is less uh, Hollywood hideaway, more rundown meat factory. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wait, what the fuck? Why can't I do... Wait, why can't I use uBlock in the way that I normally do? Do I do Element Zapper? Did they change uBlock or is it because it's in fucking Japan? How do I... Oh, there it is. Thank you. It's uh, I had to click more. The truth about Andrew Tate, his home is less Hollywood hideaway, more rundown meat factory. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could tell, god damn, 34 MKD50 with another 50 big ones. What is this? The truth about Andrew Tate's car collection. Uh, Tate's brother's expensive car collection is that when they first showed up and couldn't get the story sheet about what their first car, what their first supercar was, either Aston Martin or Lambo Huracan, is because they were renting them on the Cannon Run. Uh, it's an event where people pay 5k to ride through Europe in a supercar. That's the first Tate owns a supercar shot comes from. Recently, Tate bought into his friend's Cannon Run company. That coincides, I'm surely, with this. To put simply, Tate once again cozied up to someone with a legit business, passed it off that he's a genius multimillionaire and will no doubt ruin another company. Don't take my word for it, though. Here's the proof direct from the UK company registration data. Yeah. Successful business with supercars goes dormant. Tate takes over, takes credit. It collapses while you're on the site. Check out the history of Emery and Tristan and all the other companies that have completely failed. No doubt I'll get told I'm obsessed with Tate, but this took five minutes and I'm really surprised that none of the other influencers that have had Tate on their podcast ever get bothered to do any due diligence on every kid without a dad's favorite sex traffickers. I love, this is the most, re okay, this is what Reddit is for, okay? This is the most Reddit thing on the fucking planet to like, be to get this obsessed over an incredibly niche thing and and like go to this level of investigation okay and and basically unwind this uh oh hassan uh -oh. Uh, i'm in there too tay emery tay andrew correspondence's address appointed on 24th of march 2022 resigned on 19th of december 2022 yeah it's so funny. It's so funny that this guy literally fucking this guy did this like it, it, and, and was very frustrated that like he wants he wants like clicks to <laughs> to ask Andrew Tate why he was lying about his Bugatti occupation kickboxer. So um, that's what we got. Andrew Tate, we knew he lied all the time, but we knew he lied all the time. But it does feel good when you see, it does feel good when you see like uh, all the things that you speculated and all the things that you were stating uh, come to fruition, all the things you suspected actually, uh, you know, actually turned into uh, the truth. Across the UK, uh, police, teachers, rights organizations have all warned about his influence. Um, and so the investigation here in Romania has, has really increased the spotlight on him and brought many more people into awareness of the kind of things that he's been saying. I should also mention that his team have responded to the indictment here this morning with a statement saying that the brothers embrace the opportunity to demonstrate their innocence and she said our primary focus will be to establish the truth. Lucy Williamson in Bucharest there. Good morning. This is a, this is a funny take from a, a friend. I hate Andrew Tate as much as anyone, but the way the Romanian authorities are going after him is a very concerning attack on freedom and, I, and will have a chilling effect on anyone trying to set up a sex trafficking ring in Romania. I agree. I don't get why it takes so long to charge anyone. I would have agreed with this, by the way, as well. I did agree with this until today. Finally, this motherfucker got charged. I don't understand how they were like investigating him for this long. Hard to not become a billionaire in the world today, I think, if you're truly influential. I'm already a billionaire if I had to have my net worth measured. Um, oh, that would have been one of my questions. You can ask me, <laughs> I, I'm a billionaire. Yeah, so. Uh... Dude. Another, by the way, another marker for uh, extremely zesty behavior is just like 
routinely lying, okay? Just gonna point that out. He loves lying, okay? He is a very deceptive man who loves to deceive other men. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> just like Austin, he does. He reminds me. <laughs> Those qualities do remind me of Austin. The total amount of money he has is the amount he says he donates yearly. Oh, my God. Andrew Tate said he moved to Romania because he thought it was lawless. His Romanian lawyer said that he's changed his mind on that claim. This photo. This fucking photo. <laughs> yeah, my face, my face when I, my face when I realized Romania not as lawless. I've made a huge mistake. What did Paulum say? Paulum. Nick Pollum is probably so excited right now that he found out that he is wealthier than the fucking uh, broke G.